Hello, humans. Today we're talking about can baby time lords regenerate? Now, this isn't proven. This is just opinion because the timeless child is the only evidence, the only evidence we've ever seen on screen and in audio, which which is a weird way to phrase it, but we're just going to phrase it like that to ever influence the idea that children and the younger generation of Time Lords can regenerate. So, when a baby is about to have his birthday, does it age up and go, yay, I'm whatever years old today, or does it regenerate? That's the question I want to know. That's the answer that I don't think I'll ever know. Because if a baby regenerates, then do time want to have birthdays? Um, do how long are the babies for? Um, when when do they start regenerating? There's like so many questions you can ask yourself about the species of the time world that you'll never get a satisfying answer for because you'll you'll never get the question. So I'm I'm asking this question now, but. I won't have an answer ever because it's ma- near impossible because it doesn't exist. Time ones actually don't exist in general. There's no way of knowing. You can't even ask Brian Cox because there was a book um, in the Peter Capaldi era that was not officially tied to the BBC. But it was an outside source trying to work out the science of Doctor Who and then we all already had uh, Brian, Professor Brian Cox talk about the uh, scientific possibility of time travel. So, but now we need a lecture on the scientific um, reasoning behind the whole regeneration because, as we know, we humans can regenerate. Our bodies regenerate, right? And that's a fact. Um, it's not in the same way as in Doctor Who, but it, it's in a more of an organ inside body type way, which is a lot more, um, a lot more dull, dull, shall we say. It's a lot more duller than you or I would think. But that's just the way the um, cookie uh, crumbles, if you will. So, if a baby got injured, would the scar heal or would they regenerate? If a baby fell from an incredible height, would the baby die at the bottom? Or would it regenerate? That's the question. Because the doctor regenerates in certain scenarios. He doesn't just randomly go, Alright, I'll regenerate. Some scenario occurs that means he's going to regenerate, right? Um, so when he generate, regenerate from... Jodie Whittaker to David Tennant again, that was an occasion, wasn't just out the we went, oh, it was just an important mem- memorous occasion. So, it's more of a, I don't know. So, the war doctor turned up because Paul McCann had drank a potion. So, he forced the regeneration on, but forced it to be this war doctor. Um, so, I don't know. We've seen a child version of the Master, so that could mean that he regenerated to where he is now. Don't know. It's confusing. But when you really properly look into it, right, because you don't want to Google it, because it'll just think, it'll think you're weird. I Google and then just go, judge you. So that's why you type in some time was child and uh, to get the image for your thumbnail. So, overall, I don't think there's an answer. I don't think I can easily say yes or I can easily say no. I said, I'll say, we need a Califreyan episode where we see a child regenerate. We need to, I want to see the life cycle from a baby to just before the radical, how the life cycle of a time world actually works. Because if it doesn't work like that, then I'm really confused about the whole 
Uh, but if anyone knows or I had any r sensible answer to the question, then let me know in the comment section where I'm watching this video. Um, but the more sensible answer, the better, I think. And so, there we have it. Another glorious video. Uh, it's entertaining, it's wild, it's brilliant. So, thank you guys for watching. Now I'm going to go out. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.